Just started doing uh, the Turbo V overclock utility for uh, the Asus uh, Crosshair Formula 4. Crosshair 4 Formula. <laughs> That's my system down there. just tweaked it, it was at 3.85 and then for some reason it uh, I reset my computer and then said overclocking failed I don't know what I did So it says it went up to 3712 megahertz, uh, 232 times 16, up 16%. I kind of want it to go up higher. Let's try that again. I don't want to manually do it because I don't know what I'm doing. So, more settings. What is this? We'll do extreme tuning. That's what I did last time. Yeah, yeah. Let's go do it. Alright. So that's going to log off, do its thing again. So I guess for fast tun tuning and stable uh, clock, I have it at 3.7 gig gigahertz. Um, and I know I did it with extreme before, and I got 3.8. So hopefully we can get 3.8 again. The only difference was I had my case, my side fan off, or my side panel, and the fan was unhooked. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Probably shouldn't. But this is my first build, and I really don't know a lot about overclocking. So I'm using the utility. <laughs> I got the Razer Lycosa keyboard, the touch. It's pretty sweet. Um, I'm just using a crappy mouse right now and mouse pad. That's my mouse pad. It's the girl with the boots or the hand wrist. I'm gonna get the. Uh, oh, what do we got here? I'm saying three six three two megahertz at 
14% boost achieved. So I think this is just starting to do the extreme. I think it just went from stock or something. Keeps flashing. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. But like I was saying, I'm gonna get the new Naga that's coming out, the Maelstrom. With the a new mouse pad, because that mouse pad it's cool, but performance wise it sucks. Turning that what we're currently at, and then what's happening? This utility is so cool. Just because I sit here and it kind of puts on a little show for me. Up eighteen percent from our stock. seen a lot of people go to 4 gigahertz no problem uh, with um, a 1090 uh, T 6 core AMD so I don't know why my I can't get mine up to that maybe you have to manually do it but like I said I don't know how That just turned red. After, well, once it's reached its highest level, it'll show like a blue screen and like show errors, and then it will just go back to to a stable level after the computer restarts. Northbridge. I know my Northbridge runs kind of hot too. It's running at uh, 45 degrees Celsius. And my CPU is, like, this is idling with maybe, like, a little bit of load. And then my uh, CPU is at uh, 35, and my uh, south bridge was at, like, 38. Which is probably pretty hot. Going up to four. I don't know what auto probe has stopped working. Oh, what a piece of shit. I don't have the updated uh, BIOS for the this motherboard because uh, for some reason that doesn't work. to go press enter and start on something. on the stock again. I have the button on the motherboard pressed to the overclock button. So it looks like we're at 3840, which isn't too bad, that's better than 37, yeah 385 this is where I was at before, so I'll show you this, my score, 
Also, my graphics card is uh, a 5870 XFX. Um, so, that one's pretty good. Maybe go and crossfire later, but uh, if anyone knows anything about overclocking, just maybe tell me some tips or something. Or give me a good site. I have no idea uh, what to do. <laughs> but the utilities are great. <laughs>